Job versus a business. You've probably heard about this debate before, but what is it really about? What's the difference between the two career options? And which one is best for you? Let's find out. It's shown in statistics that during the period of COVID-19, many people opened their minds to the idea of opening or starting a business. But even that is a small part of the population, and not the majority of them think this way. People who study business, not each of them graduate and learn to be a businessman. They go out and work for others as a job. All over the world, when inflation hits the charts, many people were forced to leave their jobs. Was it because they wanted to do that? No. Who would like to kick their daily bread and butter source? Are new entrepreneurs being encouraged to start new businesses? Are they given chances to create a new business? Or are they just being shaped into a mindset that doing a corporate 9-to-5 job for 20 or 30 years of their life is the best and only suitable option for them? Let's look into some things. Whether they work best for those who do a job or for those who handle their own business. Hindrances of a job versus liabilities of a business. When identifying the hurdles in work versus company, you must understand that there will always be a tough rivalry for the advancement you seek. Another difficult option is changing employment. You may come across organizations whose values may not match yours. You may not be recognized for your efforts, or there may be some discriminating attitudes in the workplace. Another harmful component that can disrupt the calm of a professional job is office politics. Whereas, if we look at those handling their own business, they don't have to worry about office politics, rivalries, or discriminating attitudes because they are their own boss. Working at a job implies that you are bound by specific norms and must follow them to succeed. Even if you don't like the rules, you must obey them because you are obliged to do so. For a business, you make your own rules and regulations. Does having your own business allow you freedom, or is it just a hoax? To establish your firm, you should know that benefits and drawbacks of being an entrepreneur exist. Here are some of the benefits of working for yourself. One apparent perk of going into business for yourself is that you will be on your own and you will be your own boss. You'll be free to make your own decisions. You are not accountable to anyone and do not have to worry about being fired or competing with other employees. Your responsibilities will range from marketing management and budgeting to dealing with company economics. This will assist you in strengthening not just your abilities, but also your business ethics. You are also entitled to your company's profits, rather than relying on a set monthly payment. To succeed, you must put your best foot forward to make that desire a reality. Establish a vision of your life, or the life you want, and connect your business with it. Running a business allows you to pursue your aspirations, rather than laboring to fulfill the dreams of others. The first issue you will face as an entrepreneur is raising capital to invest in your company. There is also a significant risk of sustaining losses, particularly early on. Entrepreneurs are constantly willing to take risks. There is also the strain of meeting customer deadlines. An entrepreneur must have adequate competence in the industry in which they are launching their firm. The intensity of competitiveness with your opponents will also be great. Can you be your own boss in a business? Another distinction between having a job and running a business is the degree of flexibility in your schedule. If you run a business, you may set your hours and work whenever you choose. You may need to dedicate significant time to running a successful business. If you have dependable staff, you can delegate jobs to them and have them assist you in managing business operations, allowing you to work fewer hours and have more flexibility in your schedule. A vision is a plan that directs a firm to attain specific goals. If you own a company, it functions following your vision. A business allows you to create and achieve goals that will improve your and your workers' life. You may, for example, have the idea to build an inclusive workplace that delivers safe and inexpensive health goods for customers. By integrating your corporate vision with your basic beliefs and personal aspirations, you may attain professional happiness and personal accomplishment. Starting a business is just helpful to you or more people out there. When you work, you contribute to the realization of someone else's vision rather than your own. You may work at a job to realize a goal you believe in by looking for a firm whose values connect with yours. If you want to assist in establishing a corporate vision, you may work in management and engage with a CEO. Having a job and not being responsible for developing a corporate vision may also be advantageous. You may concentrate on your own personal objectives and how your employees can assist you in achieving them. Work motivation varies depending on whether you own a firm or work for someone else. For company owners, success at goodwill are common motivators. Developing a brand and expanding your consumer base pushes you to work hard. 
Earning a profit is also a significant motivator for completing tasks and fulfilling all of your job obligations to the best of your abilities to succeed. You can obtain expertise in industries such as management, finance, marketing, production, and human resources if you establish your firm. This experience benefits your professional growth and expands your chances outside your company. For example, if you decide not to own a firm, you may be able to sell it and acquire a senior-level position at another organization because of your expertise. Many people like to operate a business since it provides them more freedom. You have control over your working hours and how much you work. This is a significant benefit of owning a business and may help you achieve a work-life balance. Your career and personal lives must be balanced to achieve total satisfaction. If you have a job, your employer will utilize your job performance to push you to do better in the future. Raises, promotions, and bonuses are common motivators for employees. When you manage your own business, you generate employment. It is advantageous not just to your business, but also to the economy. By providing jobs, you may provide others with the means to support themselves and their families. You will be an employer who will not only offer people a fresh lease on life, but will also aid in their skill development. So that was it for today's video, folks. We tried to give you a brief insight into both a job and a business perspective. It depends on the mindset and what works best for you because both categories have pros and cons in different areas related to work. So what works best for you? Are you a job person or more like a business-minded one? Let us know in the comments below. Till next time, take care.